When I was 22, I was first diagnosed with stage four cancer. Uh, doctors said I was in the most advanced stage for nine months uh, when I was diagnosed. And I ended up down at University of Chicago Hospital and um, everything that I knew in life before was gone. And uh, the fast paced life, the media, my friends, it was just me on my hospital bed. And so I went through six months of chemotherapy and doctors said that I was cancer free. I uh, went to become a fourth grade teacher uh, taught for half of the year, and then I was re-diagnosed with cancer, still stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma, uh, where it was attached to my bones and had lymph nodes and, uh, that were swollen in my neck throughout my whole body. And um, that time took about a year to go through it. Uh, the way that Phil's Friends began is really how people loved me and supported me. So I had a group of people who put a care package together for me. They all signed their names to it, said they were thinking about me and praying for me. I got that about a week after I was diagnosed, and it really caused me to break down and to uh, just cry to know that it was okay to accept other people's support. I wasn't gonna be alone when I went through this journey and that I had people praying for me. The reason all those items are in there is because I kept a journal during the two years of my disease and I wrote down what people did for me and what was important and what was needed. And so simple things such as a Kleenex and you know a journal for people to write uh, their thoughts down on. Water bottle, because obviously drinking water is super important to flush all the chemotherapy out. Um, a Bible to be able to be encouraged um, and get strength. Uh, personal notes and personal cards that go inside of those packages. Everything is really just packed by love, you know, through volunteers. So then when it shows up in that decorated box on the outside, it's like, wow, you've taken time out of your busy schedules, and there's so much power, you know, in doing that when you don't even know who you're getting this care package from, other than this organization. You have no idea who requested it. And so when it shows up, it's just that all those items are in there. There's so much power in that. It's simple. It's a lot of items inside of a box, but there's power to know that it's been done in love. Well, to begin with, I thought, what am I going to need these for? Because this is my first treatment. But as the treatment went on that day, I'm like, ooh, can I see that blanket? And I said to my husband, can you put those slippers on my feet? You know, so everyone had a purpose. They were, every item in that box was so well thought of. And it, it was supported what I was feeling. We have very good friends that, you know, we have a whole support group. But some never came around, and some could identify. But unfortunately, until you're in this club, you really, it's just unimaginable what you go through. And so I felt like I wasn't being seen. I, people weren't, they wanted to help me at a superficial level, but to really know what I was going through, it was hard. So when I see the care packages, the boxes, it's like every one of those is supporting a need that someone has. You're cold, you're really thirsty, your lips are, I need to write this down. And all those items in the box address those needs. And so I felt like they were seeing who I was, who I was as a cancer traveler. And I felt like they were seeing my needs. And I want to be that to other people. So we see connections build in powerful ways. And it's really the story behind the story of what's going on inside of Phil's Friends. We talk all the time that it's not just for the patients and families, but it's also for the volunteers. You know, it's a 50-50 mission, you know, all of that together. Friendships are built and uh, community is built. And that's just one of the, the powerful things about it. You know, everybody, when they're going through cancer or going through anything difficult in their life, no matter who they are, it's important to have a friend. Uh, to know that you're not alone while you're going through something difficult and doing life together. You know, life is so short and cancer is a reminder of how short, you know, life can be. So, you know, there's, there's happy tears and there's sad tears. But when you're walking with people through a difficult journey of cancer, we want to be there for all of those. To experience life together and really be authentic and let them know they have a friend. And that's what friends do. They're able to be there in times of sadness and enjoy. joy.